I am so excited to do this video because I have been waiting for this moment as a U.S. immigration attorney forever. And I know tons of you out there have also been waiting for this moment to be able to renew your visas inside the U.S. Inside the U.S. Renewing your U.S. visa inside the U.S. without having to leave to go to a consulate abroad to actually renew a visa. We know we can renew our status, but we couldn't renew the visa. And now, and now I'm going to talk about in this video, the news about now it's approaching that you're going to be able to renew your U.S. visa stateside in the United States. Let's talk about it. Hi, and thank you for joining me to talk U.S. immigration. My name is Andrea Shev, if you don't know me already, and I am a U.S. immigration attorney that's been doing this for over 20 years now. I put together this YouTube channel to give you clear, concise, and easy to understand information about all different topics in U.S. immigration. And this video, I am excited to talk about the approaching start of getting visas renewed inside the U.S. without going to a U.S. consulate abroad, stateside in the U.S. I am just beyond excited to talk about this topic. So let's get to it. So as we all know out there, once you have a U.S. visa in your passport or you get a extension on your status in the U.S., you always have to then leave the country eventually and get a new visa and then come back in order to have a new visa in your passport. So if I have an H-1B and I file for an extension because it's almost up and I file an extension on my H-1B, then I can stay in the U.S., but as soon as I step out of the U.S., I have to get a new visa in order to return back to the United States. So for a lot of us out there, it's really hard to do that. One, because sometimes we want to take a very short trip outside the United States to visit our family or something, and we don't have time to wait for an interview and go through the whole process at a consulate abroad, or sometimes there are no interviews, or sometimes there's a pandemic that happens or something, then then we can't get back to the United States. So it's really, really um, burdensome on a lot of people to have an extension filed in the U.S., get their status extended, but then be stuck because they know if they leave the country to get the new visa to come back, they might be waiting outside the country for quite a bit of time. It's burdensome not only for the applicant, the person, you guys, but it's also hard on the companies because then they lose the employee for the period of time they're outside the U.S. waiting to get an interview and waiting to get that renewed visa so they can re-enter the country. Well, the good news is, and what I'm going to talk about in this video, is the Department of State, who's in charge of all the U.S. consulates around the world, has announced that they're likely, well, they are going to be starting a pilot program in early 2024 to allow renewals of visas inside the United States. They call it stateside, inside the United States. So that means that if you have a visa that's expired, your employer then files for renewal of that visa, and then you wanna go visit your family or whatever, you don't have to wait to renew your actual visa and your passport until you leave and go to a consulate abroad. You could actually do it while you're in the United States. You can get a new, a renewed visa in the United States without having to leave the country. So then if you have to take a trip of three days outside the country, you don't have to worry about getting a visa at a consulate abroad because you already have the renewed visa in your passport. So this is amazing news. Now, the limitations on this news, because of course it couldn't be complete paradise here. We had to have some kind of limitations when this starts. So I'm gonna grab my notes because this just happened. So I wanna make sure I get it accurate. They have announced that it's going to start in early 2024 only for renewals. So it's not for people that already have that don't ever have the visa before. It's a new visa. It's for renewals of visas. And it's only for, initially, initially, it's only for H-1B participants. So it's not going to be for just all categories at first. This is a pilot program that's going to go, I believe, successfully. So it's going to happen, hopefully, for everybody. But initially, it's going to be for H-1B participants. The nationals that are not subject to reciprocity fees are the ones that can actually participate in this pilot program. So not every country in the world gets to participate, but I will give you the good news that India 
is one of those countries that gets to participate. So Indians out there, Indian nationals, you will be able to participate in this pilot program to renew your H-1Bs in the United States. So it's so exciting. And the reason why, you know, what certain countries are being selected for this and it's not everybody yet to start off on this pilot program is because a lot of these countries have backlogs that are ridiculous, you know, to get interviews. And it's just in order to relieve the burden and the stress on those consulates, they're trying this program. And that's really the basis, the big reason for the basis of this program coming back into our lives as um, renewal stateside is to relieve the burdens on the U.S. consulates around the world and not having to have people go take spaces for interviews or waivers and have to deal with all that, you know, on top of first time applicants at the consulates. It's just there's too much work at the consulates and they need to do something in order to alleviate that backlog. So this is one of the things they're doing and we get to benefit from it, which is amazing. Um, the other thing you have to know is that only 20,000 applicants will be available to use this pilot program at first. So not everybody. So, you know, if you're not renewing for another year, um, you might not end up being able to participate in the pilot program. But like I said, I'm guaranteeing, well, I can't guarantee, but I'm hoping that this pilot program goes very well. So then you will be able to renew your visa in the coming years. It's a voluntary participation, so if you don't want to do it stateside, you don't have to do it stateside. You can actually make an appointment just like you did before if you're going home for a period of time, and you can do it the old-fashioned way, no problem. Um, they are using a lot of the criteria for the visa, visa interview waiver program to qualify in order to do it stateside. So if you look at the visa waiver interview criteria, um, that's a lot of the same criteria. You know, have you ever, you know, have you ever been refused a visa? Do you have any kind of criminal record? Those kinds of things. You won't likely be able to participate in stateside renewals. So it is incredible news. I know it might not be to the breath that we all want it to be, that every single visa can be renewed in the U.S. to start with, but I am very excited that at least we're starting somewhere and at least it's like right around the corner. And I believe it's going to work out and it's going to be great. And eventually in the very, very, very soon future, I predict that all visas will be able to renew stateside and you will not have to go all the way back home every single time you need to get a visa renewed or issued, right? So hopefully even it will go past the renewals and onto first issuance for certain types of visas. So I wanted to share the news. I don't know about you, but I was extremely excited about it. And I hope all of you out there are kind of excited about it because it's going to relieve a lot of pressure on also companies to have to worry about having employees leave to get their visas to come back and, and the gaps that follow because of the backlogs and all the consulates out there. So I am glad I'm the ones who brought you this information if you didn't know it already. I'm excited. If you have questions, write them in the comments below. I'll see if I, you know, I get to them and we can kind of talk through it as this develops and as this comes out and as this becomes permanent, hopefully, in the very near future. I hope all of you really was ha were happy to get that news and have a wonderful morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the world, and we'll see you next time.